Uh, hello everyone, my name is Sadr Modiri and I'm from BKG, Germany, and I would like to present a short introduction and our study group AI for EOP prediction on behalf of my colleague Justina and Santiago. I will um, provide an overview of our main reason for establishing this study group and also our objective um, in this study group um, thing. It would be also uh, the last uh, presentation of uh, this um, focus area, but it's not the least. Um, we know uh, why VOP, uh, why EOP, and the EOP has also a lot of application uh, from fundamental uh, geodetic reference uh, system to a space navigation and um, there is also high demand for accurate real-time transformation between the CRF and TRF and it has also a wide range of application in the matter of practical application and scientific application including high precision satellite navigation positioning and timekeeping and also more and more application. But uh, due to the complexity of the estimating and combining EOP data, it's always a delay and we don't have the, uh, it's in the real time. Therefore, uh, there is always a need of EOP prediction. Then, um, why not using uh, AI for EOP prediction? I think already, uh, Benedict and also Milad uh, explain about uh, the uh, the importance of a uh, AI and highlight the significance of the AI. Uh, then I would like to directly uh, outline our uh, objective here that uh, what we plan to do in this study group and um, you can see uh, this is also a QR code that's uh, so you can directly go to the uh, EOP, uh, AI for EOP uh, website where you can see uh, details, but I wanted to just uh, mention that we could also get a uh, cluster or objective in five main uh, objects to enhance EOP prediction model and also advancing our understanding of EOP dynamics and optimizing model and also we plan to uh, explore the commercial application and also uh, promoting collaboration and knowledge sharing. Of course, um, I think um, to uh, do that, uh, we need also a motivate an active uh, team. Uh, as you can see, uh, this uh, group will be chaired by um, you, uh, Justina, Santiago and I, and I and I think since uh, last three weeks uh, we openly invite people to uh, join us in this group and we also got um, 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 many uh, response and feedback uh, from the different uh, institutes um, till now I think uh, it's almost 35 uh, researcher are interested to join our, our activity here and it was really a good sign as Milad also said that uh, there also is almost the same uh, for uh, other study groups it's also a mixture of the um, uh, researcher from different background and uh, for us was very good and positive sign that this shows the importance of the uh, AI and also the application of AI in, in specific here for the uh, EOP prediction. Um, here just wanted to uh, mention uh, we also have uh, experience um, where uh, we uh, have also uh, two um, campaign for the uh, pre EOP prediction uh, campaign. And in this campaign, uh, I think the first campaign was also initiated uh, by Harald Shu in 2005 and uh, takes to 2009. And the second campaign was also 
uh, chaired by uh, Yolanta Nastola and uh, Henrik Dovsler and uh, started uh, in 2021. And there was also um, um, some uh, um, uh, groups that they use uh, machine learning techniques. I think it's already uh, 90 uh, groups are registered in this uh, campaign and also uh, t t six different uh, methods uh, were applied and also used for the EOP prediction. And you can see here also there is um, um, a plot that shows uh, some of them are machine learning technique. And in this um, study, uh, which is also have done by uh, EOP PCC group, um, they cluster the model to the um, uh, four main groups, which I also show it here. You can see there are also those. Uh, this is the uh, mean absolute error for polar motion prediction up to the first 10 days, and they also uh, divide it in the uh, four main group, uh, least square autoregressive and uh, the uh, least square autoregressive with uh, benefit of the effective angular momentum and also uh, one group that's also used machine learning. Then in the other group also, there are uh, many uh, other different methods that also apply in this uh, campaign. And uh, you can see there are also the numbers who uh, use the um, effect, uh, the machine learning here. And based on the uh, results, uh, we could see that um, there are also some uh, machine learning techniques which uh, show improvement uh, compared to the uh, predicted uh, provided by IERS. Uh, but of course, uh, you can see uh, the other uh, technique also least square autoregressive plus effective angular momentum uh, also shows uh, uh, comparable uh, better uh, results. But uh, the machine learning techniques here also shows uh, almost in the same level of the uh, this uh, classical uh, model. But um, I think, and I believe that it was not only uh, based on the model itself, uh, because there were many, many um, factors also involved in the operational uh, campaign. And um, we cannot say that it was also due to weakness or um, um, maybe a drawback of the models. And uh, there, uh, I think uh, these details will be also given by Thomas Kur and Justina in the uh, near future. They already uh, wrote their first draft of the paper and I think um, it will be published soon. Um, the, uh, to summarize uh, my uh, talk here, I just wanted to mention again the current states. Um, our current states is uh, promising. Uh, we have uh, really high motivation. Uh, there are also recent paper that shows the application of the AI for understanding better EOP. And uh, we already also established um, our uh, AI for EOP group. Uh, the term of reference and member is also already online and you can uh, see details and we have also experience based on the uh, two um, EOP PCC campaign and um, especially the uh, the second EOP PCC where we have also Justina in on board in this uh, group and for the future I can say the near future steps also uh, we will have organization part and also research part for the organization part. Uh, the, the plan is to have the regular meeting with the official member. And I think the next uh, meeting will be um, uh, next month. And we are still uh, looking for a motivated and potential member. We plan to collaborate with the other uh, working group under uh, IAG and also uh, we plan to have um, workshop and scientific uh, meeting. Uh, in the matter of research, uh, 
because we already have the data and uh, enough information from the second EOP PCC, we will investigate uh, this data. And uh, of course, uh, another plan is also to uh, identify novel and accurate uh, workflow for EOP prediction. And this was uh, the general information about uh, AI for EOP. And uh, I would like to thank all of you and I uh, would like to mention that um, I think um, if, concerning the workshop and uh, meeting, we will also announce it in uh, via uh, website. And if you have any other question, you can contact us via AI for EOP at sign gigos.org. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sadek. Are there any questions? I've seen a comment in the chat that actually highlighted a um, uh, large language model for astronomy. So similar to what Alison just uh, suggested, there seems to be something like that already for astronomy. So maybe this could <laughs> indeed be something that the communication outreach uh, branch could look into. And we would be, I think, from the, from the focus area, be very happy to collaborate on such an initiative. So thanks very much. <laughs>